Hi, Mary Meat. So, I've done a video about this before, but I feel I have to do it again because the ignorance on this topic is staggering. And, yeah. I was seeing if I could shed some light on it. So, yeah, what I'm talking about is Ultra Boards and how peop many people are completely panicked about it. And, first, let me start with a little bit of an observation. Even if Ultra Boards were as dangerous as you, my dear viewer, thinks, that your chance of actually dying in a car accident are extremely much higher than of you being harmed by using an Ultra Board. Why then are you not EAT CARDS RUN FOR YOUR LIVES? Your chances of dying in a Plane crash is much greater. Why are you not panicked about planes? And in fact, I think it was about 75 people who died because of uh, pillow wars, pillow fighting. Uh, each year in the United States alone, do you think it's more than 75 people a year who dies because of Ultra boards? Why are you not panicked every time you see a pillow? So, yeah. This is quite puzzling to me. Now, first of all, I'm not one of those people who sit on a fence with clouds up my anus and think that, you know, spirits can never harm you. There are a middle ground between. Ultra boards is so dangerous it will possess you immediately if you even touch one then you will become exorcist possessed you will start masturbating with a knife and your head will spin around uh, like a dynamo on a well greased bowl and saying no spirits will never harm you and the only thing you can ever possibly contact are your spirits guides and your kindly old grandmother. There are a middle ground between these two extremes. So yeah. Could you possibly contact something negative with an Ultra board? Yes. Not all spirits are friendly. And some are just so alien that it's very difficult for us humans to relate to them. And their actions can be harmful to us. However, the way this is likely to manifest is not that you die, that your family die, that you have a whole horror movie situation. What's more likely to happen is some disturbances in your home, um, the electricity can flicker, um, things can sort of go missing and then turn out in unlikely places. I mean, if you're keys go missing and you uh, look for those suckers for 20 annoying minutes and you find them in the fridge you might think oh, okay I, I could have been so stressed I put them there but when it happens three times uh, that week starting to wonder or you arranged your stamp collection and suddenly you find one of the stamps from the animal collection right with ancient paintings and you wonder how, how did I put that there that sort of things can happen. There can be sounds, basically things that happen in your house. These aren't harmful for you, but they can, of course, be annoying. Another thing that can happen is that you can attract entities that will feed off you. Now, by feeding off you, I do not mean rip your head off and eat you. I mean they will feed on your life force. That it's very unlikely this will actually harm you much. But it could make you have less energy, you can become somewhat depressed, and in rare cases you can become ill. Of course, if these symptoms continue for months and years, it can have a very detrimental effect. But this can be dealt with, you can banish it. Now, could you contact something really, really, really bad? Yes, however, most of the things that are... First of all, really, really, really bad and powerful enough to really harm you 
they don't really give two shits about someone sitting there with an Ucha book. They have other things to concern themselves with. So yeah, the most dangerous things that are likely to happen with an Ucha board is that A, you will scare yourself and B, that you will just believe everything and therefore you can create some problems for yourself. Like, for example, some spirit likes to fool around with you. And I don't mean in the sexual manner, no. Okay. Some of them might like that too, but anyway, they might give you very, very accurate information. You might win a bit of money, you'll have good things happen in your life, and it might give extremely accurate information so that you start to believe in them. And then suddenly it says, uh, Mandy is unfaithful with you. That might be bullshit. So you should never accept everything said at face value. You have to take it for what it is. It's advice. Uh, you can take it into consideration. But you shouldn't then blindly go to your wife and say, Okay, I want a divorce because um, my little wooden board told me to. Don't do that. You'll be fine. Another thing is that you can scare yourself. And sometimes a spirit will also scare you. Like my mother... That was a group that played with Ucha boards in her school, and one of her friends was told that she was gonna die on the toilet. And as a result, she was terrified of going to the private for years to come. And as far as I know, she is still alive and has not died on the toilet. So yeah. Are there dangers to using an Ucha board? Of course there is. But... It's not like it's more dangerous than other occult tools. And if you take precautions, you may cleanse yourself after working, you do some protections, the chance that something bad will happen is very minimal. Now, like with all spiritual work, the Ujra board should be respected. You shouldn't play with the occult. But it's not like it's... You should just flee from it. Th there's a difference. It's like... Swimming is great. It's great exercise. It's fun. And so on. But you have to take some precautions. You shouldn't swim right after a meal. You shouldn't swim alone. You should know your limits. So you don't swim so far out that you can't get back in, and a few such precautions. If you do this, you are reasonably safe. Could it be that you have an accident? Yeah, but it's not that likely. And it is the same with the Ucha board. Could something bad happen to you? Yes. But then again, something bad could happen to you when you walk out the door, and that's much more likely. Because the bad things that are likely to happen when you if you use an Ultra board wrong and you are unlucky is more likely than not not going to be more than an annoyance and at worst something that is scary or might make you a bit ill to say it like this I have been studying the occult for 20 years and I have never heard of anyone dying or becoming seriously wounded from playing with an Ucha board. And if you don't play with it, but instead use it seriously, it's even more rare. Uh, of course, I have heard various forms of urban legends, but actual accounts I can believe, I haven't heard of anyone. So yeah. Should you respect it? Of course. Should you just play with it and be uh, completely frivolous about it? No, of course you shouldn't. It's like a kitchen knife. It's very, very useful. You shouldn't wave it around people like a maniac. Doesn't mean that e the, the knife is evil. So, yeah, th that's one point. The second point is, many people are 
terrified of the Ultra Board, while um, uh, if somebody do uh, do uh, automatic writing, uh, spirit meditations, dowsing, anything else that uh, that involves contacting the spirit world, th that's okay. That's not dangerous at all. But a few letters on a piece of piece of cardboard or wood, whatever else your board is made of, that's terrifying. And the the Ucha board is just a tool. If I contact spirits with this, probably you can see if it's one of my pendulums in here. I'm putting myself in exactly as much and I, or as little danger as I do when I use an Ultra board. It's the same as if I um, if I do a meditation contacting spirits. It's the same. The Ultra board is just a tool meant to put you into contact with spirits. Now, one thing that is true that some people comment is that it is an very many treat it like an open invitation. You don't have to do it like that. You can, for example, say I want to contact my spirit guardians. But many will just start with, is there anybody here who wants to talk with me? And of course that is the same as going outside and putting up a sign that says Open party, free booze. So, uh, yeah, most of the people that come to your party will most likely be nice people who will who will become new friends and all will be well, but there will be some shitholes. Or perhaps a bit more fitting, since we are talking about this on YouTube. When you make a video, most of the people who will respond to it is nice intelligent, polite people, but you have your occasional troll who um, really is just there trying to ruin your day. So yeah, but you don't have to use the Ucha board like that. And yeah, many people think that the Ucha is a gateway to the demonic realms. No. It's a piece of printed or painted cardboard, wood, or whatever else it's made of. It's just a dead, inanimate object that you, as the practitioner, gives power when you use it. It's nothing on its own. And there's no different what method you use for contacting spirits. And here the problem is of course Hollywood. Because there's so many movies where the Ucha is presented as evil. You have the witch board series, you have uh, paranormal activity, you have so many of these movies where bad things happen and the monsters come out after the Ucha board has been used. And yeah. The problem with this is that, I mean, I'm not here to advocate everybody using the Ucha board. If you're not comfortable with it, by all means, use another tool. That's not, th that's not my point. I think it's a useful tool, but not every t tool is fitting for every people. My point is that when you sort of say this thing is dangerous, but this and this and this and this and everything else, that's completely safe. Then you don't take the precautions when using the other methods. Just focus on the Ucha is dangerous and evil and as long as I don't use the Ucha, everything is fine. And that is like saying um, bathing in fresh water, that, 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 that'll kill you. It'll, I mean, tentacles will come up from the ground and it will penetrate you everywhere. It, it's so dangerous you shouldn't even go near a lake. But salt water can't harm you. 
and you can see how that sort of opinion can be dangerous. Like I said, any sort of occult tool should be respected. You should do protections, you should do cleansings, you should keep your wit about you. Excuse me for scratching all the time, I've eaten something that I obviously is reacting to. Anyway, the point is, you should take precaution when dealing with spirits, especially when you do a kind of blanket invitation, is there any spirits that want to talk with me kind of thing. And I would recommend a proper uh, protection ritual before you start, and a cleansing ritual when you leave, and perhaps a ritual closing any doors that you might have opened. And again, we, I'm not saying that other tools are dangerous that will kill you, most likely will have exactly the same effect as the Ucha. It might turn you a few problems, it can make you scared, but most likely it won't actually harm you seriously. But still, you should respect it. And I also think you will be a much more effective uh, occultist if you respect these things. But this focus on the Ucha as Horrible. That, that comes from Hollywood. And it is quite shocking to me how many intelligent, practiced occultists who is completely sucked in by this. That every other occult tool, no, no, that, that, that those get the, the, get the, their power from the occultist. Yeah, clearly, but the Ultra board, no, no, that, that, uh, that's horrible. And the problem with it is that if you believe this, if you in your heart believe that the Ultra board is evil and will hurt you, then it might, because magic responds to what you believe. If you think this thing is so negative, then you definitely shouldn't have one, because that, that belief will make it a reality for you. So yeah, all I'm asking is educate yourself on the Ucha. It is just a tool. It is a tool that if handled properly is not dangerous. But like with everything else occult, it needs to be handled with respect. And you need to take proper precautions. So yeah. It, you need to read up on what risks you're taking, what risks you're willing to take, and how to protect yourself. And that is true for any occult practice. Don't focus on a Ucha board as the big and bad. And just ignore everything else. So yeah, that's my video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and blessed be.